What's up guys? Nolan here. Welcome to Rogue Reviews. This is my review of the new rebooted Tomb Raider movie starring Alicia Vikander. So I went into this movie liking some of the trailers, not liking a whole lot of the other ones. It was kind of a mixed bag marketing campaign, so I didn't really know what to expect. I was just kind of hoping for a fun action type movie. And overall, I gotta say that's really what I got. This is a fun kind of like a modern Indiana Jones type adventure movie, which I really dug. Um, let's start off with the positives. Alicia Vikander as Laura Croft, I thought brought a lot to the role. I mean, she's an Oscar winning actress. I remember when they were casting her, I kind of wanted Daisy Ridley to get it because of the Star Wars connection, but I was really happy when Alicia got it as well. She's just so believable in the part. I mean, she's got the physical stuff down, you know, action wise. Emotional wise a lot of stuff that I guess they brought over from some of the video games I haven't played any of the Laura Croft video games, but my buddy when we walked out He said it was based on the new reboot of the game Which I found interesting so I might have to go back and play some of that stuff because I really liked where they took her character through the storyline With her dad and like how he had to go off to an island to find some stuff that which you see in the trailers So yeah that I really dug the other part I really dug about this movie is kind of organically how it set up a sequel it was a good movie first, which I really enjoyed, but then it really threw in a very interesting hook at the end where when they go back and hopefully this movie makes money and gets a sequel, it sets up a very intriguing premises and the movie leaves you wanting more, which I thought was cool as well. My only two downsides to this movie were some nitpicks. There was a lot of shaky cam, which I'm not a fan of, and like where they used the sequences it just was very hard to follow for me in particular there was this one sequence where there was a, like a lot of lighting stuff going on with the shaky cam and it was very disruptive i didn't i didn't love those scenes but overall i thought the camera work was good just a couple of those shaky camera moments i'm never a fan of the other part was walter goggins is the villain he he was menacing but it just and he's supposed to be a little off but at the same time, it just felt like something was missing from his character. It, I just found him a little lacking as the villain, but it's mo this movie's more focused on Laura's journey through the film and her becoming the Laura Craft we know from the video games and such. So, you know, you can take or leave the villain, I guess. It technically is a video game villain, so, you know. But overall, guys, Tomb Raider was a fun, kind of modern update on that Indiana Jones flavor that we all love so much growing up. Great acting. Um, hopefully it'll get a sequel, so we'll see. So overall, I think I'll give Tomb Raider an eight out of 10. All right guys, have you seen the new Tomb Raider? what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Rogue Reviews for more awesome content, guys. Catch you next time.